viewer build courtesy of Wallace. Wallace has been sitting on this build well not really i think Wallace was in the lab Wallace was saying that i've been testing this build in and out v i understand every nook and cranny every corner every shadow of the build's mind Wallace said swift sword with a frontline shield tonic in the l2 button and fire and bleed skills I'm gonna assume that's knife dance, fire grenade. I think that's the move. Well, I just said, V, you put these together, every gem, the power stone, the sight stone, the ruby stone, the water stone, you get yourself the incredible build. Tonic has damage reduction. It grants you a blue missing health shield. So at full health, it does nothing. Um, and then it does some other stuff. The other stuff is kind of cool. It like puts dots on the board and stuff like that. I mean, it also reduces your damage taken by 20%. But above all else, what Tonic actually does for us in this build is it gives you a speed boost. And to show you what that looks like, as you know, Swift Sword does a critical attack when you get a speed boost, when you get the boost station. If you can see past Buster, you see no crits and now we hit the tonic the tonic and triple sec the og triple tonic immediately starts critting now the only the only issue here is it doesn't actually work with velocity but it, it gets you going and once you have instincto that gives you a way to do tonic more often. Uh, but even better yet is that the tonic will work in boss fights. So you might think to yourself, oh V, like how do you even fight concierge with this? You can't crit anymore. If I have a surprise for you, you press tonic during that, you immediately crit the giant. No monsters required. Now someone was asking like, should you do this? While it's colorless, no, nah, you don't have to. The speed bonus is all we really care about. And the damage reduction it gives, it gives it no matter what, no matter the color. So the only benefit you have from having like a red tonic is the fact that it um gives you a bigger health bar, bigger health shield, I should say. Sewers build. Knife Dance is there just in case you wanted it. Um, the viewer asked for bleed skills and fire skills. And I assume, I could be wrong, but I assume those would be fire grenade and knife dance. As like the premier things to use with a crit build. I don't know, is this some kind of like hidden message to get me killed? Instinct first. I don't really care about the velocity. I kind of prefer not using velocity at all, but this is the viewer's build, so we're gonna know. Now, as you all are paying attention to this, watch how often my speed bonus drops. Now, do I move a little more quickly than I need to? I'm not trying to, I'll say that much. Oh, what an awful spot. No, no, I can no. never know when this thing is punching or not. Ooh, nice pair a uh, block. I can't see who's following. Moisty Towelette. Welcome. Yeah, ideally you don't ever drop your speed bonus, but I guess if you're running velocity, you know, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. It's not really a matter of like min maxing the build or forehead. Like, oh, if you want to move fast, just don't stop moving forehead. I didn't even need to use the tonic there. But see, like every smack 
of the sword like lowers the tonic by one second you you just spam it whenever it's up now yes there are some moments where like ideally you don't want to spam it you want to like hold on while you don't have your speed bonus I just spam the thing for the most part if I get hit and it's on cooldown then I'm happy if I get hit and I'm not using it then I feel sad And in all honesty, Swift Sword has always been one of my favorite weapons. I think historically we have this thing in like the A or S tier. And it's mostly for builds like this. Like it itself isn't enough to move the needle. That's not what the tier list is about anymore. You gotta think about the grand scheme. The whole biscuit. The biscuit with the gravy on top of it. Or the apple jelly. Actually, that sounds... Oh my goodness. That sounds so good right now. Crap. I didn't have my tonic enabled. And I took damage. I'm pissed. Making you hungry? Yeah, that's what we're here for. We'll get that uh, Pillsbury sponsor. Tell the old muffin himself that I uh, hooked him up with the new extra customers. That is so fast. See, a monster like that, you probably want to use your tonic on. Even if you're like a god gamer, that thing is really fast. And just having the damage reduction is... There's no teleporter. I have to walk all the way back? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's how you know it's a good run right there. Alright. We gotta slow it down. Gotta play it in reverse. Got the tonic. It's pretty good. So yeah, there might be some weapons that are like garbage when it doesn't have the wolf trap. But as soon as you put wolf trap behind it, it's like massively different. Or um, say for example, the new Fairyman's Lantern. The lantern by itself, maybe you think, like, how am I ever going to hit the scarecrow with this thing? But then all of a sudden... Oh, that's actually kind of a small toxic sewers. Um, all of a sudden, once you put it with the, uh, the wings of the crow, it one shot scarecrow. So, like, it has to be a tier S. It just needs something to use the triangle button with. And not that difficult to make that happen. Could be Wolf Trap, could be Wings of the Crow, could be Rue Grenade. Tons of options. Kind of sucks to have to jump across this. There we go. That's better. Nice! Volley of arrows. I'll take it. They both have similar cooldowns. Whichever one you use, it's honestly personal preference. Okay, my dude has a smile on his face. I know I'm kind of smiling in real life, but I'm I'm shaking over here. As much as I like this build, what I don't like is this map. Yeah, give me some more of that. 
Oh, collateral. Wait, they literally gave me more. Just rat plus inquisitor the entire time. Let go this way. Another one, rat plus inquisitor. Thank you, game. But where's the rat? Why is it so far? I, I have no idea. Doesn't matter to me, now I can play like an idiot. We have Frenzy. So even if I do get hit, we can get our health back. Oh, the burning oil. See, even if the Swift Sword doesn't do damage, what it does do is it gives you your health back and it makes you throw more fire grenades. Which by itself is like worth. Even though the Frenzy is giving me a small amount of health, it's gonna be like single digits. Like five health per hit, which is not a lot. Um, that's health that you don't even have to think about really. And can easily turn into like a croissant's worth on every map and it only gets better depending on how um how much red you have why am i going up it's the actual bait this gives you speed boost. So remember, like, if that's really hard for you to jump over, you just use tonic. And all of a sudden, your character's, like, double the speed. Human Flash. Or some, like, Marvel equivalent of the Flash. Silver... Not Silver Surfer. What's the kid's name? Magneto's son. That guy. He's fast. This build is like Master Yi from League. No, That's a good no. thumbnail. Look at that damage. Yo. We're dead. Ma, uh, Mama? Or is it Mamad? Kiani? I'll just say Kiani. Kiani, can I uh, bite that from you? As a thumbnail idea? You won't sue, right? <laughs> you don't own the IP. You're not a Riot employee, right? Don't tell Riot I'm gonna do it either. They'll be on my doorstep ASAP. I, I don't know why I'm going backwards. Oh, I still get poison? Even though I got a shield? I'm kind of upset about that. So you go through, you hit this, and you get shielded. Yeah, it just goes straight through the shield no matter what. Uh, maybe there should be a speed shield. Oh, like if you do a parry, you get a speed bonus. That could be kind of cool. That's another way to like activate stuff that needs speed. Honestly, I wish there were more things in this game that need speed. Like say a mutation that gives you bonus damage based off your move speed. Swift Sword is like our only thing for a weapon. But maybe like Tentacle. Tentacle increased damage based off move speed, like the velocity you're going at. Get out of here. Sonic Shield with Sonic's face on it. I would use it. How much health I get back on one hit? 3253? 3258? 3263? Where's the math majors at? Who has their graphing calculator and can figure that out? That number out? How much I heal for? Five? Is that the number? 
Did you show your work? Did you prove it? Some teachers even want you to turn in your scrap paper. Like you're not allowed to just write the answers and turn it in. You have to actually turn in your scrap paper along with it. Yeah, honestly, this build's power is going to depend on how it does on bosses. Like I said, velocity does not increase the duration of tonic. Tonic has a set 10 seconds of move speed bonus. Or at least from the last time I tested it, it does. So is 10 seconds enough for me to kill the boss? We don't know. Poison burning oil. Wow, that's super tempting. I'm sold. You got me, game. Yo, Nidroid. How's the Twitch partnership thing going? It's going pretty well. We're always looking to move the needle, though. We're not keeping complacent. That's why we're doing stuff like St. Jude Live Charity this month. That's why we're doing stuff like Wholesome Verse Live on Wednesdays. We're always looking forward on how to keep the viewer with like maximum entertainment. And we have YouTube going at the same time. So we have to do both. A lot of balancing going on. A lot of time spent as well doing both. But we're okay with that. So let's get in here. We got a boss situation. No hit. Is it possible? It might not be. This is conjunct. We start off with the parry. Wow. Got the burning oil. Not the stickiest build on the planet. And see, I lost my crits as soon as the uh, phase changed. Which I mean, if you think about it, my crits were enabled for just long enough to get through one phase. And maybe that's not that bad. Parry. Oh my goodness. This is what makes it worse though. Almost greeted for that. Burning oil, super helpful. Planet safe too. Oh, I, I got move speed maybe? I think I do. This might be the velocity helping me out. From like the previous tentacle kills. And that's worth. Please. Oh, I pressed tonic thinking that it was actually there and it wasn't. Oh my God, I actually screwed myself. So tonic also gives you like a bubble. Just like Rampart Shield, it protects you from damage. And I was gonna, you know, be cool, pop the bubble, absorb the hit. Apparently, it's a little more sophisticated than that. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, let's go. This is actually pretty good for Graveyard. A lot of rats. A lot of ways to kill rats, too. Slumbering is pretty good as well. All right, graveyard. We're doing pretty good on time. Never mind. I just looked at the clock. I'm not doing good on time at all. Doing well on time, I should say. I was going to do a sponsor stream after this one, but maybe we'll do it tomorrow after the Twitch integration. There's a game that's, um, wow. Wow that had an update, Osiris New Dawn, I think it's called. 
And I wanted to give that a try. First time ever playing it. But we'll save it. Yeah, so. We're on a deadly map. This is probably the map that you spam Tonic. Because if you get tagged by a cannibal or honestly anything on this map, it's horrible. But I mean, what's nice to say is that I don't have to think about the move speed, really. Because we have velocity, it's kind of just a non-factor. It's always going to be there. Now, a lot of times in this build, I run melee mutation. And I guess velocity is like the replacement for melee. I didn't want to go up there if I didn't have to. Melee basically prevents that thing from jumping backwards. So a little safety for me. But the way how this is getting played and we're running Frenzy too, even if I get hit by the thing, we're going to get our health back. Once we get a V.60, I'm going to show you all the amount of health I lose when I have Tonic active. Ooh. Payout chat. Did I not? I did. <laughs> While I appreciate the, um, the enthusiasm, we did pay out the nays, and now we're doing the uh, new prediction. Thank you for the reminder for the new prediction, though. Crap, I got hit without Tonic! Should've spammed. I wanted to see- Ooh. Okay. So I can't show you all Tonic just yet. Let me, uh, let me get my health back. Five health per hit. As you all said. Just need somebody. It's like, preferably not one of those. Look at the size of that blue health. Look at that 5 HP per hit. Crazy numbers. Unhurt world first numbers. The numbers have never been this good in North America. I think it's like less than 1% per hit. But I mean, like I said, it's health that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Mr. Parry. Didn't take a lot of damage though. Fighting Giant. Um, I would say Giant's probably smart here, but I probably have to do Giant just because of the time. Yeah, I'm not going to use my Fire Grenade for a little while so I can get some health. Wow, these cannibals are actually popping off. Yeah, and I don't typically, like say where I'm actually gonna go. All I will say is that the smart thing to do in a build like this is probably giant. Timekeeper's not too bad either. Because this, like, has got move speed to it, so you can keep up with her. But timekeep, I mean, gr giant. Giant, you don't have to keep up with anybody. Except yourself. Your own mental state. That's all you have to keep up with. Alright. We're in the world's the curse chest. 
This thing is like non-existent. Help you out. You can't go lower than 32,000 V-Bucks. Do I need to turn on the viewer submitted game? Like, I don't know if you have a game in mind that you would want to see me play and that would drain. That one's pretty expensive. Uh, you always felt that the healing options are always underwhelming. Best option is to just not get hit, which is true. But we've had builds, and this is where it gets like kind of difficult to really show. But the Snake Fang Brutality build was the best example. Where I could almost just hold... Not hold square. Well, I guess you could hold square now. After the update that they did. But we were basically just walking forward, hitting enemies and going invisible. And healing if I got hit. And like that, yes, the healing number was pretty small. But the brain usage required in that build next to none. As long as you hit the target, it's probably going to die and you're probably going to get your health back. Um, so this one right here, this, not to say that there's a lot of brain usage. Um, the damage is maybe a little lower unless I get like all the stacks on. The poison, the fire, the burning oil, all of that. What is in here? There's a masker, but what else? A slasher. Excellent. Couldn't have hoped for a, you know, cheerier monster right there. Sell that. Why is my face red in game? So we're using the brand new version of the V.me skin. The new version of the skin um, changes color. It's so like normal attacks. Tentacle normal attack was blue. This one's white, which I like the white. That looks really good. Um, and then red is when you're critting. I don't really like cavern with this. Almost think I'd rather go to grave, not graveyard, set poker. But in all honesty, I don't really want to do another curse. I don't like cavern with this. Cavern's rough because you don't have the ability to breach the enemy. Like, you do your slashes. And the bird. The earth shaker. All of those monsters just ignore. They take the hit and just shrug it off. So I'd rather go to a place that... A little easier to clear curses. Even though I don't want to do another curse. Um, didn't know the cavern monsters had no breach. Yeah, so it's the earth shaker, the skeleton, which is the one that jumps, and the bird, the slammer. None of those can be stunned. If you find an elite version, the elites can be stunned, so that helps. But obviously, you don't want all of them to be elites anyway, or else that's bad for another reason. Let's kill the Inquisitor. smoke those out. There we go. Uh, you go Forbidden Memories requires too much brain usage. Does it really? I mean, to speed run the game, yes. You have to actually get the right pairings. I guess, like, the final bosses, some of them just drop Meteor Skull Dragon immediately. 
And yes, you need to be able to answer that, and maybe that's where brain usage is needed. But again, I, maybe I've been out of the loop. Maybe I don't know what it takes. Okay, I have to kill these, unfortunately. Until I find a teleporter. Um, it's the best Yu-Gi-Oh game, even though you don't remember a single thing about it. it. It's good for what it does. Absolutely, which is why people speedrun it. Okay. I think we can save those bats from an untimely death. Can't remember what you eat for dinner? Imagine remembering fusions. So that's... I get it. I 100% get it. But you would be surprised when it comes to video gaming how much you like actually remember. Take like a, a League of Legends player for example. Like, I, I'm gonna get into Dead Cells, but let me get into League first. So a League player might find themselves remembering every champ in the game with every skin for every champ. Remembering matchups, remembering cooldowns. Like, oh, this champion, Alawi's Q, is super fast. It's gonna be ready as soon as I, like, go in. But once I see it go down, it's not going to be ready. But now I have to dodge because it's going to be ready again. Dead Cells, you might think to yourself, okay, alien. If I attack the alien with my swear, it's going to jump backwards. So I'm better off throwing fire grenade. Wow, another jump puzzle. So yeah, like... When it comes to video gaming, and it's unfortunate that that's how stuff works, it's really not that hard to remember stuff. It's like willpower for the most part. And like, not just willpower, but how much you actually want to be worth it. It's a really cool crusher. So for example, as a League of Legends player, maybe you're in um, the Bronze Division. You're just playing for fun, not a big deal. You're logging on whenever your friends log on. Maybe you don't need to know every single champion. All 250 champions in that game. Or as a uh, new Dead Cells player, Maybe you don't really need to remember all of Conjunctivious moveset because you're gonna go to Concierge instead. But once you get to that level where it's like, oh, you're gonna, you're playing everything. All the builds. All the routes, every boss. You're trying to get the no hit. You're going for achievements. Then your brain is going to recognize that this is something that I actually have to try. Or this is just me. Maybe I'm just the one speaking out loud. And you all don't have to go through this at all. But that's how my brain operates when it comes to video gaming. Outside of video gaming, eating and chewing gum at the same time, impossible. Eating and chewing gum. Can't even talk correctly. Walking and chewing gum is what I meant. But case in point, I couldn't even make the joke right. But here I am playing Dead Cells perfectly fine. Maybe popping off, maybe not. Got the 60. It's a good sign. Oh, see how my face is on fire? According to the viewer. That's because I have crits active. The beheaded does that normally too. And depending on the skin you're using, it could be different. How do I get in there? This thing. Where in the world is that? Muscle memory? Yeah, we need some brain muscle memory. I say we, I mean me. Okay, it must be up above. 
It's like you go up, and then there's a jump. Yeah, here we go. Legendary? Legendary Tombstone. While wow, red. That's like super interesting. I knew there was a reason I didn't go that way. Red Tombstone. Do you use that? No reason not to, I guess. You have access to combo. Maybe combo's bonus damage will let you kill like every monster around you. With the um the curse, I think they call it. That actually sounds really cool. Do it? No, this is the viewer build right here. If I do it now, the runtime actually increases. And I actually have all the mutations that I would use Tombstone with turned off. Because this is pure custom mode. The purest custom mode. Uh, with Predator, with Tombstone, combo kill enemies. So I think if you hit, if you kill the enemy with the third hit, you're gonna get Predator. If the monster dies to the curse after you hit it with the third hit, I think you still get Predator. Because there's like a grace period. So I think it's probably really good in that regard. Red. It's just I don't have it. I don't have the, uh, the mutations. If you had to take a weapon out of the game or buff it, would it what would it be? Take out... What would I take out? Take out... Ice shards? Only because it's like... I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. It's either too good or too bad. Buff? Definitely Wormats. Like, I know we're not using Vampirism, but I would sooner believe that there's somebody out there using Vamp than someone out there using Wormats. Like, on purpose. And again, I might be wrong. I might be the poor schmuck out here, maybe not understanding the Wormat properly. But when I throw worms at Hand of the King and he instantly kills all of them in one attack, like just stomps on them. I I feel awful. Okay, what are we looking for? Poison and burning oil. That's literally the only thing that could be better. That was self-synergy with poison. All right. Not bad, not bad. Does Corrupted Power buff the worms? I would have to try it. Corrupted Power does not buff. Corrupted Power buffs melee mute, not melee. Corrupted Power buffs phaser. When you jump in on phaser, it does the damage because it's a melee attack. But Corrupted Power does not work on something else I tried, and the number wasn't there. I just can't think of what that other thing was. Get this and re-roll it. Don't even really need to re-roll it, because it's just the initial hit is the damage. But maybe we can get, like, poison back or something like that. There we go. Uh, take out Meat Skewer, buff the daggers. Oh, it's like Twin Dagger, Assassin Dagger. I feel like, um, Stiletto might be okay. 
Assassin Dagger, I went mind seeing. Did I sell the Crusher? I just left it there. We are just vibing right now. Look at this. Oh, we gotta use um the fire grenade on that. But see how my fire grenade's already back? But I lost my crits because my tonic wore off. Crap, I'm on the wrong side! I hate this side! Wow! I did the parry and it sent me down into heck! Into hecky! That's messed up! I guess I wasn't supposed to parry that? I probably had the hang time. I could have just jumped backwards and... Yeah, I had double jump, triple jump. It sent me down into the underworld. Six feet. Okay. Well. That is not the way I thought I was going to go. At least we're alive. We can say that much, but... Is it worth being alive right now? When you don't get a no-hit. Like, actually robbed me. For no reason. Like, just took $5 off my desk and then walked out. You get a Little Caesars pizza? <laughs> okay, so... The first 10 minutes of that Little Caesars pizza, sure. I agree. S tier. Fantastic. But... After that, do you really want the Little Caesars after the 10 minutes are up? I don't think so. All right. We don't want to get hit. We do want to parry though, because that increases our damage. But see, I already lost my crits at this point. Yeah, this would be perfect time to have, like, a speed boost shield. Wow. Rip. So I say, please don't hit me. Please don't knock me into the spikes. Oh, he tried one more at the very end. Like, well, at least I can do that. The tonic, as I said, got nerfed. Because back in the day, it would be... The cooldown would be rolling mid-combat. And you, you do lose the speed bonus, but eventually you'll maintain it for, like, more time than actually losing it this thing's on a 30 second cooldown the tonic by the way let's get the mouse in here 30 seconds all right legendary knife dance um this means that burning oil goes away it's it's good though is it good enough to ditch burning oil Wait, this fire grenade's really good. Why is my fire grenade so strong? No, never mind. The knife dance does 15,000 bleeding per second. I didn't even see that. Oh. We went bleeding causes poisoning. Freaking cat here. Increase... Oh, after you kill an enemy. I was about to say, increase move speed? During battle? Hold up. Yeah, we're jamming right now. That's a lot of damage. I don't think flex tape can fix that. Yeah, the legendary buff they did. Um, This is a 36 scroll count knife dance. 32 red. 
four green. And that's why it's like this strong. Wow, I didn't have to do anything. Tom about. That's the viewer build in action. Shantae Rose <laughs> creeping. Right and low. With the hatchback. I don't know who uh, Shantae might be hiding from right now, but it's kind of scary. Out here looking for trouble. All right, so as you see, I have all my health back. It took us a few biomes and a no-hit on the boss. But between the giant and now, I have full health without using a health pot. That's all frenzy. And I think I could be doing more damage, as a matter of fact. I'm going to take this because it's three stats for my knife dance. Uh, what does Grave do? Haven't played in a while. Um, I can show it. We're kind of in a, a rough spot because I can't guarantee I can actually like really show it. I don't know if you could really like tell what was happening there. So what it does is if you land the third hit on an enemy, you will get um, a curse. Like I did a punishment effect that went across the screen and it hit the enemies above me. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to showcase it right now. Because I don't have the mutations to really, like, land the hits. But if you were in, like, say, Toxic Sewers or Graveyard, a map that has a lot of monsters everywhere, you can kill monsters that you can't even really see because the ring around you hits them. Yeah, it does a doom. I, I was calling it a curse. D I think doom is the right word. MF doom. All right. No, 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 no. Look at that. Yo, I am testicle. Welcome. Happy to have you here. I didn't even dodge roll. We got the bubble, the Super Saiyan, the Bankai, the Key Charge, whatever you want to call it. Nothing the monster can do. Just sit there and accept the punishment. I do miss when we could parry those back in the day. How did the defender live through the drop? I. Oh, I think I know. I think I know the answer to the murder mystery. Or anti-murder, as a matter of fact. Um, so when the defender defends a monster, it actually defends itself at the same time. Um, so what it really did was mid-fall, it found a teammate and latched itself to it and actually was able to protect itself from damage mid-fall. If I could actually see a defender, we could like show it. One and three. This is a stronger knife dance. I'm gonna show you all. Knife dance. 252 to 20k. You put on the triple green. 
290 oh I'm sorry, 2912 to 23. Actual damage boost. Like that thing is gonna absolutely destroy. Oh, it had no chance. All right, we have, we have this. Use my tonic. Now, as I said, I could be using the R2 button only on the librarians. But with this much cooldown reduction, every hit is one full second, I think, of cooldown reduced. Dang it. It <laughs> gave my health back. And what were you trying to help Twitch chat? Uh, would it be possible to roll the tombstone to see what we get? Sure. Yeah, if this thing gets 100% damage dealt like some of the other survival weapons, that would be actually incredible. Like, so nasty. Uh, you watched a few seconds of the first episode and you dropped it. You're watching Kenshin at the moment. That's a classic. They even have some uh, some live action movies. I haven't seen them though. Yeah. So again, a build like this, a very chill build. When you have a long day at work, you just want to vibe in dead cells. This is the build that you do it with. It might put you a little on the edge because of the fact that um. Oh, that thing died to the electricity, I think. Okay. Hang on. Maybe this is not the build to vibe with. Apparently, mistakes can be made. And there is a bit of button pressing. Like spamming square, pressing L2, pressing R2. It's a lot of work. Maybe I overestimated, or underestimated rather, the brain usage. We're almost full though. Uh, have a sudden urge to see me play some... Some V? V, 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 5V. I... I don't know what that might be. It's a real game, you promise. I mean, I'll take a look. After this, we have to do Buster Treats, though. Zero malaise. I did pay for that. Um, I bought cough syrup. Alright, but we're good to go. I mean, vibing right now. Definitely not getting any of that stuff. We're just gonna get our food and then get out of here. Even though there was uninfected food right there, we're not gonna worry about that. That's for somebody else. We're gonna leave that for the pigeons. All right, so someone wanted to see what can uh, the tombstone get? Right now, this legendary is doing toxic cloud, which could be kind of cool if like all the dooms do toxic clouds around you like that that's massive i just don't know because i've never seen legendary tombstone 50 percent while you're full the 40 percent. this one's also really good if you can get it poisons the enemy that's like worse than toxic cloud 40 percent. double damage Alas, we're not using that today. Today we have the viewer's build. This is Velocity. Velocity said, V, I know you're tired. I know you're hungry. 
Let me hook you up with the with the good good. The only build you need right here. Um, what we're about to do right now, we're about to fight the spoiler boss, final boss of Dead Cells, as of today. Um, you want to maybe avert your eyes if you don't want to see this, but this should be really quick. Even if you don't want to be spoiled, you may not really get to see what's happening unless I die. Because I think the fight's going to be that fast. Spoiler boss territory, my territory now. The speed fiend territory. We have tonic to get our move speed. The ads aren't going to help with that. The only thing the ads will do is extend my time to uh, get my cooldowns back. Wow. He got real confused. He was just standing there. He's like, wait, am I alive? <laughs> Is it over? <laughs> Can I leave yet? Yeah, where do you think you're going? No, no, Kill no. that. Look at that damage. I'm gonna save We're the dead. tonic. Thank you for that damage, by the way. Everybody. We love it when you deal the damage. Oh, I would thought it was a lot closer. See, that wastes my move speed. It's really unfortunate. Ooh, that was a fast one. There we go. Give me that. Oh, wow. Ooh. Sliced them in two. Anime style, like from the head down. And then the character's just standing there and does like the, like, when you're actually looking through their point of view and then all of a sudden, like, it splits like that. Nasty. 18 plus mature content. Executed. I don't flip the bird like that. That's... Like, if I were to ask the creator of the mod, I would say remove the middle finger. We don't do that around here. We use our words. <laughs> Yo, put him in the dirt. That was pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, I can't say that word. I can't say good. I can't say bad. All I can say is rate. Rate zero out of ten. Zero being you, you can't do swift sword on bosses in biomes. What? Uh, uh. You troll envy. You're wilding out. Ten out of ten. Whereas, like, wait, what? Swift sword in a boss? Question mark with the huh?